500, just a little bit of a dip going into retail sales and initial jobless claims in America. That data starting to pour out. With it, here's Bloomberg's Michael McKee. Well, John, we've got some uh, little bit better than expected news on retail sales. Retail sales come in up by or down by 1.8 percent for July, but up by seven tenths of a percent for August. So July a little bit worse than it had been, but August is a little bit better than had been forecast. So um, we're we're looking at some uh, decent numbers there. Uh, looking at the um, Jobless claims numbers uh, so far, Biden hasn't reloaded. Uh, here we go. And we are looking at 332,000. That's an increase of 20,000 from the previous week's revised level of 310. So um, going in the wrong direction, but maybe somewhat seasonally uh, affected here. Let's look at the retail sales numbers and see what we're getting in terms of uh, movement here. The retail sales numbers for um, overall, as we mentioned, 0.7%, excluding motor vehicles and parts, 1.8%. And motor vehicles and parts were down by 3.6%. We knew the unit sales numbers were bad, and so this was kind of widely expected. Uh, food and beverage stores up 1.8%. Grocery stores up 2.1%. Could that be the fact that people are spending more time at home? Uh, that is uh, good news so far. And... Um, then we're looking at uh, the uh, the uh, food and drinking places. Uh, oh, please tell us no about that. change at all, despite Tom's best efforts, <clears throat> Thank which you. is a little <laughs> bit odd because uh, you, you'd think there'd be a little bit of a gain given the way things have been going, but it does fit with that narrative that people stayed home in August because of COVID, and of well, course uh, we didn't see any hiring in yeah. food and drinking. John, places. jump in here with a market reaction, which sort of says to me it pushes against, you know, disinflation gloom. It's a shrug in the equity market. Yeah. We're down seven on the S&P, negative two tenths on the Nasdaq, we're negative four tenths. Push it through the bond market, though, just a little bit of a lift on the Treasury curve. Yields up by two basis points on tens and thirties, 132 on tens now, thirties at 188. How do you compare and contrast that, though, Tom? Take the control group, 2.5 it's a really strong beat for August, but the previous number, that's an ugly uh, revision. Okay, well, you take a three-month moving average is my answer, but my answer uh, to all this, Michael McKee, is on retail sales, the control group is where the pros fall back on, but does a control group work in a pandemic? Uh, it does, uh, because basically the control group takes out things like auto uh, sales, because they're reported in the retail sales figures as a dollar number, the uh, the government, the BEA, uses unit sales figures. Also, fleet sales of autos go down as business investment in GDP. So they take those things out. And, of course, gasoline we take out because it is so affected by price, although not much this past month, just up two-tenths of a percent. Um, the other one we should mention is non-store retailers up 5.3 percent? That's a significant. Is that like gain. Amazon? Yeah, that's like Amazon and oh, uh, and Walmart. Up, up how and much? All of those up 5.3 percent on the month. So is, is that a ginormous number? That is a big number. So, you did it, Lisa. It, good job. It, oh, yeah, that's me. I'm sure shifts. you're the one that's always talking about the Amazon boxes, Tom. I will say uh, though, Mike, just to sort of wrap this up, Tom said something about this idea that this pushes against the disinflationary feel that we had from the CPI report. Is that an accurate characterization? How much can we glean from this? Because on its surface, it feels like that's what it is. Well, you know, it, it, it's a marginal change because they do, don't adjust these numbers for inflation. So if you put inflation into it, uh, they would be slightly smaller. But because of the drop uh, in inflation during the month in many categories, uh, it, it might be uh, not much of a change to watch for this time. Overall, <laughs> over the past uh, year, year and a half, uh, retail sales have been mm -hmm. buoyed by inflation.